What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Havoc OS on this device. Let me show you which build is this. As you can see this is the latest 26th July 2020 build of Havoc OS, official build by the way and there are two variants one is vanilla that means it does not include gapps and one is with included gapps this one it is and I have flashed the included GS version which is about 1 GB so not too big but yes it is kind of 980 MB or something and this build I have been using over here the first thing which I have been noticing over here is that there is no ANX camera or MIUI camera by default so if you love the stock camera as ANX camera or MIUI camera you will be disappointed over here just like me but you can definitely flash the ANX camera as you can see as I did and it replaced the stock Cyanogen mod camera and with this ANX camera everything is working fine as you can see and I can switch to the front camera and stuff this should work fine and let me show you the video mode over here in the front camera video section we get 1080p 30fps option up to and in the back camera let me show you we have the 4k 60fps option over here and here is the android version section as you can see on top we see the havoc os logo as usual and the android version is 10 of course and here the havoc os version says 3.7 and the security patch is latest on July 5th, 2020. The build date is 26th July 2020. And here the stock kernel is perf G kernel. And here's the build number. In the system panel, you will not find any system updater. We do update the ROMs manually anyway. You just flash the latest build of the ROM. And if you want to clean flash this ROM from any other custom ROM or if you're coming from EY, click on the card right here for a complete flashing guide of Havoc OS or any other custom ROM like Evolution X. And here we have this front camera sound effect customization. You can turn off the camera LED for some reason if you don't want it. And you can have these kind of sounds for the front camera popping out. I keep it on disabled because I don't like that. And the stock keyboard over here is Google keyboard. One really unique feature that this ROM comes with, I would say, is the screen off fingerprint scanner or screen off FOD. So you won't need to have the like clock screen clock or something like that. You can have it if you want to in the always on display but you can turn that off and just use the screen of FOD or the fingerprint scanner while the screen is off. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed now. So as you can see right now I'm using the screen of FOD it does not have anything on the screen. You can also disable this fingerprint icon over here. I don't know if you can see it just right here. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed and as you can see it unlocked. Let's do it again with the left hand thumb and it unlocked it does a little bit of animation whenever you are unlocking if you are noticing up close so as you can see it does this kind of animation and it unlocks the screen now let me show you from the lock screen itself and from here and as you can see this is the unlocking speed over here now i'll switch to the night light mode so that the display is yellowish and here as you can see right now the display is yellowish and from the lock screen as you can see it still unlocks now let me do it from the left thumb with the night light turned on and as you can see from the lock screen it unlocks now with the screen of FOD I'll do it from here and as you can see it unlocks now I'll do it with the left thumb with night light turned on and as you can see it unlocks so no issues that I could find with the fingerprint scanner over here now let me talk about the stock launcher to the left we have this Google's discover page and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and stuff swiping down gets you to the notification or quick settings panel of course and the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working flawlessly so that is not a problem you do have this double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen so you can double tap anytime anywhere on the home screen and it will lock the device so that is a really interesting feature let me show you the stock launcher settings if i go into the about section of the stock launcher as you can see this is the shady launcher by default let me go back in the home screen set settings we have this search bar google feed etc you can customize it pretty much and one thing that I like inside app drawer, we have this app prediction disabling option so that you, it won't show the suggestions in the app drawer. So that is really cool. Let me go back. We have this grid section. You have some customizations over here. Then we have the icons and you can have the notification dots and stuff if you'd like. Inside gestures, we have the double tap to sleep. That is the anywhere double tapping to sleep to lock the device and swipe down for notifications and stuff. There is also one more feature which is swipe down to clear all. You can use it if you want to and here is how the quick settings panel looks like and you can add multiple toggles like this let me show you there are plethora of options for the quick toggles as you are noticing over here these are the app toggles and these are the extra quick toggles that you get and here i have added some let me show you 
just like this FPS counter. So we do have this FPS counter appearing on the top left as you can see. Right now it's giving me about 59 FPS. So yeah, pretty much 60 FPS. Let me disable it. Here we have the screen recorder. The, this is the default screen recorder. And as you can see, we have the bitrate changing option for the screen recorder. Then you can change the audio source and stuff. Let me put it to internal and like start the recording to see if it actually works. So yeah, looks like it is actually recording the screen as you can see. Let me stop it just right here. Let's play it back. So yeah, as you can see, this is pretty much 60 FPS recording I can confirm. So the stock screen recorder actually is working fine. Now the another reason that you will flash Havoc OS is because of the customizations and those are inside this configuration center. Let me open the configuration center and this is how the customization section looks like. And here we have the status bar and clock customization is there of course for the status bar and then logo is there. You can set a custom logo if you would like. And then we have the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar. So this feature is really helpful as you can see. It is increasing or decreasing the brightness. Okay, so I just went back somehow. So yeah, as you can see, it is controlling the brightness. So this feature is really helpful in my opinion. And there is also double tap to sleep on the status bar. Then there is the network speed. I have been using a separate app for this. And carrier label customization is there. Then there is the battery icon. And here you will find the circle, dotted circle, etc. But there is no big circle option over here that I miss. And here we have the battery percentage position changing option to inside the icon or next to the icon. Inside status bar, we have these many icons, headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. We also have NFC. If you have the global variant of the Redmi K20 Pro or the Chinese variant, you will have this NFC over here. The 4G icon stuff is there. We have the Bluetooth battery stats, notification count, etc. Let me go back. We have the lock screen settings here. We have the double tap to sleep and stuff. And let me show you, we have the media artwork. Then pocket detection is there. It actually works. This pocket detection mode actually works. I have tried it. And then the, we see the screen of FOD or the screen of fingerprint scanner. This actually does work super fine. Then there is a recognizing animation. Well, you cannot change the animation over here. That is a difference from other custom ROMs. In other custom ROMs like Evolution X, you will find a lot of customizations for the recognizing animation of the fingerprint scanner. But here you don't get those. Here we have the authentication vibration and stuff. Error vibration is there. Status bar, quick settings, etc. options are there. Then there is the charging info. It does show up on the lock screen. It looks really cool. And 18 watt fast charging is actually working super fine here. So you should not worry about the fast charging. The phone does not get heated up a lot, but it does get a little bit hot when fast charging as usual. Like it's normal in my opinion. And inside quick settings, we have the quick pull down, smart pull down, etc. You can choose the quick pull down to right, left. And background opacity, you can change that. Background blur, you can have it for the quick setting toggles and headed image and stuff, you can customize that. Then there is a column and row number customization for this. And then there is a slider position changing option. You can choose it to top or bottom for the brightness slider. Then there is the adjustment button settings and normal settings, icon, edit icon, etc. customizations. Jumping into the ambient display, here we have the battery level. Always on display, you can turn it on or off. And then there is the always on display brightness. So you can change this always on display brightness if you feel the always on display is too bright or something. And then we have some force brightness values over here. Here we have the buttons. Here we have navigation settings Then system navigation gestures are there. I've been using this Android 10 navigation gesture of course. And you can change the pill bar size over here. As you can see, I have set it to long. So that is why you can see the pill bar is quite long. So yeah, you can change that. And then we have the two and three button navigation if you want to use that. We have the arrow keys, pulse navigation, etc. And you have this pulse for the like navigation bar if you're using two or three button navigation, I guess. Inside power menu, we have the advanced reboot feature. So let me show you, as you can see, we do have this advanced reboot option. You can recreate reboot to recovery or fast boot from here. Then we have the screen of power button toggle torch. This actually works flawlessly. So no issues with it. We have the playback control, wake device and stuff with volume rockers. Then the back gesture, you can customize that for uh, action. If you swipe and hold or something or swipe edge to edge, you can have this long left swipe or right swipe and you can set a custom like action over here to launch camera or launch flashlight or take a screenshot you can set those and then we have the notifications and here we have the charging led and while charging the camera's led does pop up so yeah that's not a problem and notification led and stuff option is there so you can have per app customization for the notifications and here we have the edge lighting so show always option is there and you can change the light color from here as you can see you can choose it to accent 
and from here you can also have a custom color so you can change this color to anything from here pretty much so you can have this like millions of colors for the edge lighting let me go back and here we have the heads up notification disabling option then force close notification option is there no is the notification option is there let me go back we have the battery saving option so you can use those and then inside screen we have the framework values or you can have some status bar padding if you want to have some status bar padding over here inside animations we have the whole UI animation of course and you can set any kind of custom animation you can also have the quick setting toggle animation flip or rotate so that's cool inside miscellaneous settings we have the gaming mode then and then we have the screenshot type you do not have to change it it's set to full by default and let me show you in the gestures i think yeah this is the soy project screenshot which i missed and as you can see this is the oxygen -based kind of screenshot so we do have the share edit and scrolling and delete option and then we have the wake up device disabling option then charging animation and stuff is there this is the pixel kind of animation where it does while plugging in and adaptive playback option is there ringtone focus mode is there you can have it on if you want to to like speaker and headset then only headset and we have the condition cards and suggestion cards let me go back and here we have the battery settings this is how it looks like and the battery life in my opinion is very good not a problem as you can see i've got about four hours of screen on time or more than four hours four hours and 18 minutes almost and i still have 61 percent juice left so you can calculate that you can definitely get seven plus or eight hours of screen on time easily with this rom and as you can see you can check the full usage from here and on the bottom we do have the battery temperature over here it appears all the time and we have thermal profiles you can set per app then we have the like battery server adaptive battery smart charging is there too if you really need it let me go back we have the display settings here we have the adaptive or auto brightness and then night light and stuff is there dark theme is there you can schedule it if you want to then inside styles and wallpapers you can choose or customize the theme as you can see you get plethora of fonts over here and let me click on next and then we have the accent color choosing option here so you can set a custom accent color and create a theme and apply that let me go back we have the clock settings and we have bunch of lock screen clocks if you don't like the default one you can set a lot of lock screen clock inside wallpapers we do have this on device wallpaper this is the like default wallpaper of this rom let me go back we also have the live wallpapers pre-downloaded over here so you don't have to download them separately i've been using this one and this one is working fine the live wallpaper looks amazing on the home screen and it has been working great we have the live display so color calibration mode is there so you can control the rgb of the screen and here we have the screen timeout so that is cool and we also have this lock screen timeout so that is cool too you can have a timeout for the lock screen itself and then let me scroll down we have the colors and you can have the colors to boost it or something inside lock screen display we have the always on display let me go back and double tap to wake is there and double tap to wake actually works fine let me show you so here as you can see double tap to wake actually works and then we have the anti flicker or dc dimming mode you can have it enabled if you want to and inside sounds if you scroll down we do have the audio direct and i have been using this youth edition with the audio direct it has been working fine with my mi dual driver headphones the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is great on this rom you won't need to worry about the sound quality over here we have the screenshot sound charging vibration etc disabling option and live caption and stuff is of course there and inside vibration and haptics we have the in-call vibration vibrate for calls and notifications etc and talking about the volume panel as you can see this is how it appears and you can have this live caption mode from here and let me expand it section this is how you can expand the volume panel now let me set up the face unlock and show you the face unlock speed over here on this rom right now i'll just double tap on the home screen to lock the device and i will like double tap again to unlock it and i'll swipe up and then the camera pops out as you can see so you do have to swipe up on the lock screen just like this then only the camera will appear and it will unlock with the face unlock feature and then we have this swipe to unlock like feature over here you can disable it if you want to and now as you can see right now if i double tap on the lock screen it unlocks the device right away with the face unlock so yeah you can toggle between these two features that you can either swipe up to use the face unlock or you can disable that option you don't have to swipe up on the lock screen and still you can use the face unlock feature but there is no app locker or something in this rom so yeah that's how it is now let's just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open twitter play store youtube now let's open instagram 
this Google Home. Now let's open all those apps from memory again so that I can show you the RAM management. And as you can see, all the apps do stay in memory, so you should not worry about memory management over here. And the opening of speeds is super fast, so it, you can switch between apps just like this very quickly and easily. And everything, the whole UI stays buttery smooth, so no issues with the RAM management over here. And even while gaming, you can get the max settings possible, HDR in extreme in PUBG. Here is the Andrew and Geekbench score of this ROM. This is how the stock dialer of this ROM looks like and as you can see there is no call recording option at least by default but we do have the video calling option and stuff. Volte calls and Wi-Fi calling both are working great over here so you should not worry about that but no call recording option at least by default. And the DRM info shows as a level 1 here so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p pretty much. And as you can see the safety net status actually passes so that means you can use banking apps right out of the box on this ROM. You don't need the magic hide or something like that. And I did try my Google Pay and it is working fine. So that's been it guys. You can definitely use Havoc OS if you are someone who really needs screen off fingerprint scanner. You can definitely use this ROM and the performance and the customizations are really good and you can still use it. But if you really need a next camera on your device instead of the Cyanogen mod camera then you can definitely click on the card right there and watch that video to flash a next camera so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video again give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now